I'm Brianna McGee, and my daughter Paisley was diagnosed with leukemia three years ago. In May, we had gone camping, and she got sick, just like any cold, but it was just um, the weird bruises that kind of threw me off, and her not really getting over her cold, and just kind of staying in this gradual, like, not feeling good, but not feeling bad state. I kind of Googled all of her symptoms, and the first thing that came up was leukemia. And I just bawled. I was just in tears. And Jason looks at me and he's like, what's wrong? And I couldn't say anything. I was crying so hard. And I just knew in my gut that that was what was it. I remember Paisley asking me, Mom, what's wrong? Like, are you OK? I'm like, yeah, honey, I'm OK. I'm just a little sad right now. I'm just trying to be brave for her was the hardest. He lost his voice after he stayed up. What's six minus one? Five. I remember coming home from work and Bree was sitting in, in the chair. She just held her phone out and I went and looked and it was childhood leukemia. I just said, get in the car, we're going to the hospital. You never think that kind of stuff is gonna happen until it does. I remember getting to the hospital and meeting Dr. Meeker, and I was just having a real tough time with what was going on, and I remember him looking at me and said, if you wouldn't have followed your instincts, or if you would have waited any longer, her organs would have started shutting down. So I guess as, as hard as it was to hear that your daughter has cancer, I know that it could have been a lot worse. The two weeks after Paisa got diagnosed were a blur. I was working anywhere between 50 to 70 hours a week. Paisley did ask me why I'm not home so much, and I cut it down to 64 hours, which is still a long time to be away from home. Try to just think that it's got to be done and you do it. There were days and weeks where we never left the house because Paisley was so sick. She would explain to me some of the things that are troubling her. For instance, when she started losing her hair, and she's like, Mom, I don't look beautiful anymore. And that's one of the reasons why I was just like, I'm just, I'll do it with you. You shave my head first, you know? And I wanted her to know that she's special, whether or not, you know, if she has hair or if she doesn't have hair. And it, I really wanted to show that to her. I know she doesn't remember a lot of it, but I think it helped her a lot. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. <laughs> Little water wings are super cute, huh? He doesn't seem to like the food that's in our little tank. One, two, three. She rang the bell, had her last chemo pal, and then I could slowly see her immune system working. It's so difficult at times, and I think throughout all of it, I've had to stop and look at the little things, you know, and it's rewarding to see her actually take the little steps, take the big steps, and get to the end. I saw what she went through. We all went through it, but I saw her keep going with a smile on her face, and I knew that if she could do that, then so could I. She's a strong little girl, and she just made me be even stronger as a mom. 